Hi, I'm Vilna and I'm very fortunate to be asked to be a part of the Swapbook.com holiday gift guide. I'm an ambassador for this year's gift guide. So um, they asked me to make a video and I'm going to be showing you the cutest little project just to make cards for Christmas. And then they also send me two products that I want to showcase. But first of all, I want to show you this this is the gift guide. So they put together this beautiful little publication with the most amazing gift ideas for yourself. So you can leave it on someone's pillow, if you know what I mean, to get ideas what to gift you. Maybe you want to circle a few things in there or you want to gift it to, to the crafter in your life that you want to bless with something nice. So this is a very, very cool idea. I just want to show you um, what's I'm going to be showcasing and uh, the first thing is these three beautiful brushes that come in a set like this and they're called stencil brushes and I'm going to show you how wonderful it works to use them through a stencil with acrylic paint and also how wonderful they are to blend acrylic paint. So we're going to be uh, doing that and the other thing they sent me to showcase is this cute little guillotine bottom holds and it's perfect. If you're a card maker and I I loved using it to make cards just to cut it that exact perfect size so the last thing that I just want to remind you is that scrapbook.com has wonderful annual sales coming up this holiday season go to scrapbook.com daily you'll see that there's gonna be surprises and special deals that await you and just so you know that the pre black friday sale is november 21st to november 22nd and then the black friday weekend sale which is the november 23rd to november 25th cyber week which is november 26th to november 30th and then the 12 days of christmas which runs from the first of December till the 12th of December. So this is a great and exciting time to go and have a look at your favorite craft supplies and some great deals on them. So I'm always up for a good deal. So I'm very excited to show you this little project and uh, if you're ready to get your hands dirty with some mixed media, let's start. Hi again, this is Vilna and again I just want to thank scrapbook.com for asking me to be a gift ambassador for their little gift guide for 2018. Um, it's really a privilege to be asked to do a little video for them and showcase some products. So these are stencil brushes and I love them. They are big and soft and I'm sure that I'm going to be using them for a long time to come. Um, those who know me know that I love um, mixed media and I love art techniques. So they couldn't have sent me something nicer, honestly. And then here again is the little gift guide. And if you pay through it, there's some really, really awesome ideas. You know, another idea is that you just steal <clears throat> someone's card, you know, and just order yourself whatever you want from it. Wrap it and then ta-da! All done and then this little guillotine bottom holds which is so perfect for what I'm going to be doing today so on the left hand side of my screen you can see um, illustrations and you can find those on my website iheartstudio.ca um, these are little plastic pockets that I'm going to use to put my cards in and the papers are just a little bit too big, so I'm just going to cut them a little smaller. And in a moment or two there, I'll show you a little tr trick that I always do with uh, my paper trimmers. So I'm just um, cutting it a little smaller so that it will fit into that little pocket. And I want some room in there because if I add some media and layers on top of the card it's going to bulk up a little so then I just want to make sure that um, it still fits into that um, transparent pocket so now you can see what I'm doing is just with a pencil I'm marking one little block so that I don't have to worry every time I 
cut a card if it's the right size you know so then I'm just going to reposition it on that exact little marking and um, and just make sure that you fold your cards properly so that's another little tip <laughs> and then yeah and then you can just cut cut it a little so I'm just cutting mine a little smaller and I'm going to do it with all the cards that I'm going to make so I will be making eight cards with um, these products but I will only showcase four on this little video and then I'll make another video that will be on my YouTube channel at some point with another four and I'm going to use the same idea but different you'll see what I mean like I love to do layering and I love to layer with paper and with embellishments but on the second batch of cards that I made I actually laid with mixed media which is also a cool idea lots of fun to make and uh, and yeah and it turned out really pretty so I'm just happy for that okay so I like to work on all four cards at once and I like to do the same thing on every card in every stage I call them mass production um, I actually have a playlist on my YouTube channel where I do mass production um, projects. So I love it. I, I just like the idea of not reinventing the wheel every time. Um, and I also, and this is something that I say quite a lot when I do, uh, especially when I do art journaling and, and art media, as this is the one place where you can do the same thing over and over again and it has a different outcome. So that's the lovely thing about art. I'm using Jane Davenport acrylic paint by American Crafts and you can find it on scrapbook.com as well. And I actually made the decision to not work in traditional Christmas colors. So I made a fall video um, series not too long ago and I said that pinks and oranges are the perfect fall colors and I want to extend that to Christmas. I think pinks and oranges are the perfect Christmas colors and the actual little um, illustrations that I designed also have oranges and pinks as the main color ingredient you know for um, for the Christmas collection that I made. So I love, love, love the idea of taking something familiar and then just doing something a little different with it. I think what makes it really Christmas is the little bit of gold accents that I'm going to go with. Okay, so now I'm using this big brush and I'm just going to dab some paint through it. It really, really worked well. Look how lovely it worked. And then I'm going to reposition my brush and uh, do the next um, card. And then I'm just going to mix in a little bit of orange this time. So it will be mainly pink with a little bit of orange mixed in. And you just dab it through the stencil. So this stencil is by Euro Arts and you can also find it on scrapbook.com. I bought this one off there and uh, I like the little ones because they, you know what, they, you can use them anyway. You can also see, I don't know if it's clear enough, that I don't go to the edges of my stencil because I don't want that harsh um, line there. So I tend to stick and I do this all the time. To the middle of my stencil when I use it even if I apply light molding paste or doesn't matter what I do I never ever go to the outer edges of my stencil just because I don't want that line that says this is the end of the stencil you know but this looks lovely and you can see there already a little bit of how lovely um, the brush blends the paints okay so now I'm just going to let it dry but the one good thing about using stencils this way is that it dries really quickly you know so and the other thing is and this is very um, not really relevant maybe it is I'm very careful with those red nails right because um, sometimes when you 
when you scrape over the paper with red nail polish it will make a mark so I'm actually very careful with just using red nail polish on white cards so that's also a tip of the week for you and you and this one is completely free okay so moving on I'm paging through a crate paper um, little paper pad and I'm looking for pinks and um, just papers and I am going to layer papers so I I love using this technique and I've done it multiple times so I'm not really a pattern paper person even though I scrapbook and I love pattern paper for backgrounds and so but I like the little paper pads and I use those a lot and then I decided to just layer a couple of papers and this is a technique that I've done in another uh, little card series that I haven't posted on my blog yet but I will but anyway um, now I need a little paper that is more solid so I decided just to paint with the acrylic paint that's on the palette and I'm just and now you can see how lovely these brushes blend acrylic paint and acrylic paint is the blending paint so it's so easy so I'm just painting with uh, the light well I don't know it's almost like a I don't know peach colors and then a little bit of orange and a little bit of pink and now I'm just going to let it dry and then I'm just going to use this on the cards as well and and what I want to do is I want to make a paper strip where I layer different colors papers and textures so the gold hearts at is right at the bottom and that's going to be one of the layers and then I'm just going to use a few from the little paper pad so it's a very simple thing to do but it's um but it's and it looks very interesting on a card because it just adds a little bit of depth and color and I don't I like it very much so I'm going to cut uh, tear it a little smaller and then I'm just going to I want the edges a little distressed right so <laughs> now I'm actually doing math in my head like how do I want to do this because I don't I'm inherently very lazy so I don't want to make a lot of work for myself and I want to be able to cut everything at once so I'm figuring out how and I actually should have just turned the the hearts the other way but whatever you know yeah so I'm just distressing the edge of that paper and then that's what I want and I'm just going to staple it together so that when I cut it they don't fall apart and I love the little stapler bottom holds and this is a, a always a great way to just adhere things on your page it's just by stapling it all together and those little mini staplers are perfect okay so now I have um, my little paper trimmer here and uh, I'm just going to tear things off so it's a little smaller and now I'm going to cut that piece in full so again I'm doing math in my head like how many, how wide should it be so that there's four pieces that can come out of it I know who knew that scrapbooking is so technical and so math related right so there's one strip and then I'm going to cut three more and again just quickly stapling it because I did staple them at the wrong place another strip and then I'm just going to cut that one in half so you can do this however way you want to um, it can be vertical as well but I just decided to layer it horizontally and the other thing is the vellum with the gold it's just that little bit of bling that I love and I'm just positioning the strip and I'm just stapling it down again and then I'm going to cut it a little smaller right once that's done I'm just going to use um, another strip of paper that beautiful little polka dots even though it's little squares 
and then I'm just going to add a strip of washi tape as well and this is just so that the actually to keep the strip of paper on there and you can see in the bottom right hand corner that my hot glue gun is ready to go and I love adhering my embellishments with hot glue because I don't like things falling off my page so and also um, double-sided tape so I'm just going to use a little bit of double-sided tape on the illustrations and then I'm just going to add it to my strip so the hardest work is done and now I'm just going to finish it with a little bit of embellishments and I'm also going to use some of the flourishes that I just cut with my silhouette cameo and and just add I just added a little glitter to it so the illustrations that you can see here is available on on my website uh, iheartstudio.ca and I use my silhouette cameo to print and cut them I don't print it with the silhouette cameo that's a common misunderstanding I use my printer to print illustrations but you have to print it out of the silhouette cameo software so that it adds the the uh, marks where it's going to cut the registration marks it's called okay I like to use a little bit of foam to adhere my illustrations because it just pops it up a tiny bit um, and this is really a fun way to make Christmas cards listen Christmas cards has never been this fun to make um, because you get to paint a little to get your hands dirty you get to play with uh, paper and glue and at this point I'm always thinking it's never a good idea to paint your nails before you do a project because there's always some glue and things get you know that that gets on it and uh, now I'm going to show you uh, one of my favorite ways to adhere glitter to just paper so I'm using this at craft adhesive spray paint um, or it's not paint it's just spray just spray it and then I'm just going to add a little glitter and that's a little too much but you understand what I want to what I mean and then you just shake it off and it really works quite well and the glitter actually stays on there if my camera can focus there you can see it does stay on it so yeah, I like to do it that way. You still get glitter everywhere, but I, I guess that's part of the, you know, just being a crafter. Okay, and now I'm just going to add, actually what I decided there is to add that piece of vellum to the back of the snowman, just because it was still a little busy for me. And uh, I just wanted to mute the background a tiny bit. And that is how simple it is. Like you can change your mind midway. Doesn't matter. And now I'm just going to use hot glue and adhere the flourishes to the back of the snowman. So this is the fun part. Just finishing up the cards and adding a little things, you know, here and there. I did feel that I wanted something that can pop a little more so I did add some black phrases bottom halts to my cards and even though it's not really Christmas um, sayings I think it can apply to anything you know so it's not necessarily only for Christmas um, these are perfect cards to say thank you um, for end of the year a gift you know it doesn't matter so and then I also love uh, the scrapbook.com adhesive that you can see there the blue thing I love those roller adhesives it's easy to use and I'm just cutting it a little shorter the flourish and then I'm just going to add again a little hot glue and just going to slide it underneath and just adhere it So at this point, I decided that either I have to add black uh, ink splatters to my page, 
or my little cards or I need to add just these phrases by Tim Holtz. So I opted for the phrases and even though they're not Christmas, they do work with the theme and it's very meaningful, you know, so I like the idea. Um, the next bunch of cards that I made, I did add some black paint splatters and I love how that turned out as well. So both sets really, really turned out lovely. And uh, I will show the second set that I made on my YouTube channel at some point. And then you can see here how how fascinating the cards are. And, and I think it's because of the layers, right? So I think anyone that receive a card like this will be so happy and feel that they got a piece of art, which they did because we painted and we glued and we stenciled so we actually created a little bit of art with these cards so um here they are all done and i couldn't love them more love 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 it i hope you enjoy it too and i hope you make with them along with me it's really a lot of fun to be creative art is therapy for the heart so now I'm just using my stapler. I'm just going to staple a few pieces together just to make sure that nothing falls off my page. And here you can see all four cards. So I'm just going to show it to you individually. I love this little deer. And uh, you can see the shine of the gold flourish and the, and the vellum, the gold heart vellum little snowman and he's very merry and very bright and you can see how the phrases that I added work together you know um, love and peace to you have an open heart so I think it works great these little phrases this Christmas you are in my heart and so the adventure begins so I love it and then here I'm just going to show you um, I added the vellum pockets so well not vellum transparent I added the card to the transparent pockets so let me just explain myself perfectly and then I just wrapped twine around it and uh, you I think black and white twine would have looked really nice but I had the red on hand pink will also work and I just love how it all turned out so thank you so much for spending these 23 minutes with me watching the video i hope you enjoy it and i will see you on the interwebs soon bye